taking a quick look at Polkadot on the daily chart, a nice move with the upside, small little pullback. I made a video on this back on the 19th of October. Let's go over that video real quick. Polkadot on the daily chart, a small little pullback here. We're looking for some issue support, looking at the history of this chart, looking for other pullbacks with similar in dollar amount. This pullback set up for me, gonna start using it for submission support. Click it from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. Over here one more time, pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. So that provides two price relationships against the zone. Now I'm looking for a third, a third is using my Fibonacci retracements. Click it from that pivot low to pivot high. If you look closely, we do have a 382 retracement that is slightly above the simulation support work that we just did. Let's take a quick look on the hourly chart. Price is trading nicely above that 200 moving average. That's what we want to see. Coming back to this chart, this is where I made the video and since then, Polkadot has taken off to the races a little bit to the upside. Now we're going to look for the next set of pullbacks. This pullback right here, this is similar to this pullback right here. I'm just going to measure using my trend based FIB extension, going in from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. Okay, so that's my first price relationship. Now I can use the one that I used previous. I can use this pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. Okay, and I just want to make sure I potentially see these patterns repeat themselves over and over on a chart. And this is what we do. Looking at technical analysis, going to remove those retracements work. Next, going to use my Fibonacci retracements, clicking from that pivot low to pivot high. Okay. Once again, we have a 382 retracement, and there's a potential four price relationship right against the zone. I'm not saying it's going to definitely hold, but let's take a quick look on the hourly chart. Now this one's a little bit different than last time. Last time we had price trading nicely above the 200. This time around it's trading below the 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So with this one, you gotta be patient. You wanna make sure there's strength coming back into this chart with a series of higher highs and higher lows. Continue to establish strength back to the upside. So just be patient with this one. If you wanna buy more polka dot, make sure there's strength coming back in here. And then you gotta set your stop below this pivot low. Of course, none of this financial advice. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now, hit that notification button. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area, and I'll talk to you soon.